Morning. Now, sat here at this charge point, it's made me realise just how often I speak to people at charge points and in car parks and people that are interested in electric vehicles and trying to explain to them how they can make their life better. But I'm a single voice and I'm doing this every time I meet somebody new and all of you out there that own EVs are no doubt doing exactly the same. But we're all individual voices and it's very rare that we get an opportunity to come together as a common voice, if you like, and really shout about the virtues of owning an electric vehicle and how great it is. So any opportunity for us to get together, I think we need to grasp with both hands. And that's where today's journey comes in. Uh, it's very early and I'm heading towards the Midlands today to meet a chap called Paul at the British Motor Mu Museum to find out about a very special event that he's organising. So Paul, thank you ever so much for inviting us up here. Good You've morning. You've um, brought the sunshine and um, what, what a fantastic place. And believe it or not, this is February. Yeah, I know, it's unbelievable, isn't it? So, uh, you know, British Motor Museum, uh, it feels like we really are in the heart of sort of British motoring here. We've got Jaguar Land Rover, Aston Martin, everything's nearby, uh, the Heritage Centre here. But we're not here to look back on nostalgia. What we're here is for uh, an announcement from, from you for a really exciting event. So do you want to tell us what it's all about? I wanted to do something really special that will bring in all of the passionate and the hard work that um, a lot of the EV community is doing, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the YouTubing community, and also um, give an opportunity um, to get some of the other and the mass population that hasn't adopted EV, yep. not even looked at doing EV, and create one big showcase. And what I want to do is create, uh, which will be, I think, the first in the UK, an EV electric vehicles festival. I wanted to um, embrace everything to do with it. So that is car, mm -hmm. um, e-motorbike, um, buses, taxis, mm -hmm. commercial vehicles. But the embracing bit is they all, uh, I want them to be all zero emission. Right. So there's not going to be any hybrid. Yep. Um, some people will say hybrid is the bridge between. Yeah. yeah. But I did really, I think the long-term goal, um, the UK government as well, um, they're going to the roadmap to zero. Mm -hmm. uh, all vehicles on the UK roads, effectively uh, the sales from 2040 to be effectively zero emission cars. Yeah. So why wait? I'm with you on that one, I have to say. Uh, yes, uh, I'm all for people making the step across, and if a hybrid's the way to do it, it's the way to do it. But the future is uh, renewable energy, renewable fuels, uh, and moving away from anything to do with fossil fuels. And, um, well, I mean, we've been talking about this for a few days now, and I'm really excited about what this could be, because uh, you genuinely are driving towards the future. And this, this isn't a commercial enterprise for you, this is a passion for you. Yes. Uh, and this is all being done off your own back. Um, just talk us through it, because obviously in the background here, we've got the Motor Museum, and we've got the, the, the parking area here. What, what do you envisage happening? We've basically got here all what the eye can see in front of the museum. Mm -hmm. So we've got the whole expanse of the car park there. What do I see? I see all EV car clubs. Um, I really would love the car clubs to have a great showcase to promote their own yes. uh, clubs. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I've uh, chatted with Neil, uh, CVs. Yes. I could see, I watched his videos last year, he did a video with yourself, yep. and I could see the passion with these people and the passion about what they want to do mm -hmm. and where they see things going. I want this to be a, a helping platform mm -hmm. for everybody who's got you know, passionate like me, passionate ideas and yeah. passionate things. I know that sometimes when you're doing things, when it's one voice, and you can say one voice on the internet, yeah. one YouTube channel on the internet, unless um, somebody's into that particular subject, it might go amiss. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely and, right. There's all these, there are these individual groups and individual people all doing their own thing, all looking to do the right thing. Yeah. But actually what it needs is a concerted effort to bring everyone together yeah. so that that becomes not a voice but a crowd, a shout, yeah. so yeah. people hear it. The museum themselves, mm -hmm. um, British Motor Museum, is fully on board. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've done a uh, contract with themselves. I don't mind saying, a bit of pressure this year for <laughs> me. I've really got to pull it out of the bag. 
Yeah. I want this to be the first year of something that each year will grow. Yes. The tickets are going to be sold through the museum's website. Mm -hmm. um, if you book in advance, and there's going to be a section on the website as well, that if you've got an electric vehicle, you don't have to be involved in a club. Mm -hmm. You can bring your car along and bring it to show it. Show it off. Show it off with everybody else. Fantastic. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be a club involvement. If, if it's just the case on the, you know, on the weekend, yeah. you've got the kids, you wanted to come. We've also got the museum. The museum's putting on a uh, special exhibit at the same time to come inside, mm -hmm. and they're doing uh, the future uh, vehicles and me exhibition. Okay. Tickets are £10 in advance for adults, right? Uh, £7 for children, and that includes obviously full entry to the museum. So not only have we got everything that we're trying to create down here in the front car park, yeah. no pressure. Yeah. Um, you've also got a full day out of the museum. Mm -hmm. So all these details I'll put in the um, description below yep. so that if anyone's interested in any way at all, even if it's just for a bit more information yeah. from yourself, uh, they can contact you direct. But hopefully we'll start getting some of the clubs and some of the manufacturers on board yep. and then we can start filling this car park. Uh, and whatever room's left, then the people that are bringing their own cars, they can put them in there as well. Yeah. And it's just, a, it's almost like an open invite. It sounds yeah. like, it yeah. sounds like a real yeah. sort of family day out. Yeah. Most important thing we haven't discussed yet. When is it? It is, yes, good point. <laughs> it's Sunday, July the 28th. Tickets are 10 pound, mm -hmm. so 10 pound. Trust me, I've been around the museum. There's enough value yeah. for 10 pound. <laughs> Ticket prices are normally 14 pound 50 for adults. All oh, right, so, so it's already we, we've even got a, a discounted rate Fantastic. Um, to come. And there's gonna be so much more on offer. The overwhelming thing that I'm getting from you is this, this isn't about trying to sell anything. This isn't about anyone trying to make any money. No. This is about bringing together like-minded people to, to help other people understand what the future's about. It just seems like a really nice family yeah. day out with the added bonus of having this amazing backdrop and this cracking museum that yeah. has all the facilities as you, as you mentioned. Um, but also, you, why not make the day of it? Bring the family along, speak to everybody, everybody yeah. about EVs, go and see the, the um, bits inside about uh, vehicles of the future. Generally, just have a look around the museum. Yeah. What a brilliant yeah. day out. What an absolutely fantastic idea Paul's had. But of course, it's over to us now to try and support it and make it a success. So if you uh, own an EV, if you're part of an EV car club or you run a car club, if you're uh, an EV manufacturer, if you sell secondhand EVs, if, I don't know, you provide after-sales support, you install chargers, build chargers, charge leads, whatever it happens to be, if you've got some involvement in electric vehicles, then contact Paul. Uh, all his details will be in the description below. Just uh, drop him a line and book your place there because the more people that turn up, the better this event will be. And the more benefit the people that come to view the cars and the equipment and learn about it, the more benefit they'll get from it. And if you are one of those people that are just genuinely interested in electric vehicles and what the future holds, then follow the link to the museum website where you can buy your tickets and buy them in advance and you'll get a, a good reduction on them. And um, it's not just that event going on. So it's, it's, I think it's the first weekend of the summer holidays. So what better way to start the summer holidays with the kids? Uh, go along, visit the museum. I had a wander around. It is actually, it's a really good museum. Uh, and they've got their own event about vehicles of the future going on at the same time. So what's to lose? You've got so much going on in one day for such a good price. It's got to be worth going along. So uh, hopefully a really enjoyable day out for all. If you, um, obviously I'll, I'll keep you updated what's going on as and when Paul updates me. Maybe we'll do some more videos and just uh, as things get confirmed and announcements are made, then we'll let you know. So I think we're in for a really good summer of electric vehicles, festivals and events and you know, the more we can do, the more we can support these things, the more that we can reach out to people that are genuinely interested. And even some of those skeptics that just don't understand what it means to own an electric vehicle and how simple it is. And we can start leaving that fossil era behind us and looking forward to a much brighter, cleaner, far more enjoyable future. <laughs>